Smash Mouth, All Star on Mix 94.5. It's The Bunch with Freddie, Lisa and Captain Paul. It's 20 to 8. It's Ask an Expert today. And with us is Dr. Glenn Murray, the Medical Director of Absolute Cosmetic. Absolute Cosmetic advertised on Mix 94.5. Uh, has somebody who's completed over 10,000 procedures. That's just incredible when mm. you think about that. And uh, we're taking your questions today. Will, Will, hi, Wickham. Hello, Will. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. What's your question? Um, I've got a frown line right in the middle of my brow that comes down towards where my nose is. Yeah. Sorry, what was that again? A frown line, was it? Yeah. The old tram tracks, as my yeah, dad used to one. call them. Yep. Yeah, just the one. It's pretty deep and, you know, quite a lot of frowning over the ears and it's sort of set in. Mm. Is there any way you can get rid of that or am I stuck with it? No, you're definitely not stuck with it, and that's called the GFC line. Is <laughs> um, we were talking about that before. That, Will. That's all right, Will. We're all suffering from that. Um, just some um, muscle relaxers, some Botox, and if you've still got about two or three weeks later, if you've still got a little bit of residual line, then a bit of filler. Uh, some of the new age fillers like Restylane or whatever, is, it will be great for that. Not the SPAC filler from uh, no. Bunnings, Will. No. It, sounds like it. it sounds like doing a bit of renovation around the house. Though, look, I, look <laughs> I had that. I've some, I like to tell myself it's hereditary in a way too because I've had it since I was about 16. But don't say it's about frowning, Will. It's because you've got an expressive face. <laughs> I think that one it's is. A, it's a live line. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're so a deep thinker. Be proud Thanks, of it. Thanks, Will. <laughs> See ya. Michelle of Osborne Park, hello. Hello. You have a question about... Uh, worst enemy, broken capillaries. Yes, correct. Um, first of all, good morning, Bunch and Dr. Murray. Um, thank good you morning. for answering my question. Yeah, small area of broken capillaries on my inner thigh. Um, just wondering what the procedure is and the likelihood of reoccurring after the procedure and the approximate cost involved. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's an oldie but a goodie, sclerotherapy. Uh, it's just simple injections of, uh, many people do use different things, but a thec- a thoxy sclerol is a great product. I think it's uh, what I like Easy about for it. You to say. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Poly- and the other name, it's polydocanol. So, but, um, yeah, that sounds worse. Yeah, it sounds worse. Mm. Uh, but, uh, uh, what I like about it, it doesn't hurt as much. Uh, very, very safe compared to some of the other products around. And we inject it into the vein and then put pressure over the vein so it sticks together and goes away. Recurrence, usually you don't find it coming back in the same place, but it doesn't stop it coming back other, in other places. Uh, usually veins run in families and it's a, a genetic weakness of the collagen of the, of the veins. Um, oh, okay. Good ideas to prevent it though, watch out for um, tight, uh, wear good stockings, uh, watch out for tight clothing that causes pressure and don't stand oh, still really? too much. Tight yeah, clothing. You bet, yeah, like the old mm. garters, you know, things like that that we used to wear once upon a time right. could yeah. cause it. And uh, obviously standing still for great uh, lengths of time also aggravates it. It's annoying. Okay. A lot of it's get it on our face, you know, occasionally yeah. around the cheekbones, sort of little that, spots. That's rosacea. And, right. Uh, yep. Too uh, much rosé? Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> never enough, never enough. <laughs> and, um, and that's usually treated by um, IPL or laser. Right. And that's uh, not so much injection. Mm. There you go, okay. Michelle. There you go, Michelle. Thanks. Thank you very See much. Ya. Thanks, Michelle. Bye. Uh, I've got a question I'd like to ask you. Have you seen the movie The Skin I Live In with Antonio Banderas? No, I oh, haven't. Oh, you haven't? No. I thought everybody in your profession would have seen it. No, I haven't seen it. Oh, well, he's a he's a cosmetic surgeon doing really? a pretty... Oh, you've got to see it. It's a great movie. It? It's a psychological thriller, and he is just... I mean, you you got to... You, can you imagine Antonio Banderas playing you? Is he making a person, the, the title? Of I'm not, I'm not going to give anything give away because it's a very, of, very good story. Yeah, I, I, I just would have thought it would be sort of, you know, compulsory. I, well, no, I watched guys. one episode of Nip Tuck once and, <laughs> that, and that was the end of it for me. I thought, my God. I like the McMahon boy, but I thought, no, that's the end of it for me. He's dreaming. You've yeah. still yeah. got time to get a question in with us today. <laughs> Dr. Glenn Murray, 1333.53. You could win an overnight stay at any choice hotel in Australia.